Hello students, welcome to the second part of this video series. In this video, we will see how to enter the chapter title and the content of a chapter under various sections. Following which, we will see how to insert the figures and tables inside this chapter. So, we begin with the commands that would help us to create the chapter title subheadings and paragraphs. So in order to create a chapter title, we'll be using this command chapter and the title of which has to be placed between the curly braces. So here is an example that is shown at the bottom where in order to create a chapter titled as introduction to ADC, this is how it has been fed inside the .tech file. Now the output of which is been reflected onto the right side where the chapter one followed by this in the next line we will have the chapter title in order to create subheadings we will be using this section with the title and again here is an example showing how to create a subheading as introduction now in this you could able to see that this one is basically pointing to the chapter number and followed by that, the next number points to the, the hierarchy level down the chapter one. The next one, in order to go down further under this section, one could use subsection command. And here is an example where I just want to create products as one of the sub subheading under this introduction subheading. So, so the way by which we can accomplish this is by using this command and the output of which is shown over here. Now, one can even further step down the hierarchy by using the command with this sub sub section. So this is the last command and we don't have something below this particular uh, sub sub section command. Okay, so, so but when they use this command, uh, we would end up having the title, but without any numbers at the front. And this is the default action of this book document class. Yeah. So with that said, uh, let us navigate to chapter one. So, and we know that uh, the content of the chapter has to be placed inside the content part, which is basically between the uh, begin document and uh, the end document. So we call this as the content part, right? And uh, as you could see that each chapter is called inside this main.tick file through this input command along with the path that points to this particular .tick file. So let us open this uh, chapter one intro .tick file uh, from the left panel. So as you could able to see that uh, whenever we use this input command, uh, we will have this whole path here. And if this particular file exists, it will open. So when I click on it, you could able to see that there is no content uh, that is available inside this file. So what we do is that for illustration, let us try to mimic the look of this Word document. This is what I want to get mimicked. And uh, let us try to use the commands that we have learned in order to create this chapter title and the section titles. And uh, I think we have only the section titles here. And before that, I also want to point out one more uh, important line breaking commands. So, yeah. So whenever we want to separate two different paragraphs, it is generally preferred to use this line breaking just because in the case of a word, if you just click an enter key at the end of the particular paragraph, it starts with the next paragraph. But in the case of a latex, a single enter key will not do the same. It will try to merge both the paragraphs into a single paragraph. Okay, so in order to have two different paragraphs, we have to provide this line breaking command at the end of the first paragraph, so that the next line that follows will have the starting line of the second paragraph. So there are again two kind of commands one could use. The first one is a double slash. The second one is slash par. So one could use either of this two commands, but people generally use this command, which is pretty easy for us to type it. 
and I would be using this uh, double slash in order to create this line break between the paragraphs in order to separate paragraphs. Yeah, so with that said, let me try to demonstrate this by copying this title and I will just get back into the chapter one intro.tick file and let me begin with this command chapter and I will just paste whatever the, the title that I've copied from the Word document and this creates the chapter title and the next thing is I just need to insert the content that follows this. Right? So what I do is I just copy this as it is, control C, and then get back to this dot tech file and just try to paste it. And now I just want to create the heading as introduction, which is the subheading under this title, right? So again, what I do is that I'll just try to copy this introduction and in order to create that 1.1 effect, I have to use the section command and the value of that command has to be placed within the curly braces. And then I just move on to the next line. And then I just want to copy these two paragraphs. So I've just copied it and then I just paste it here. Now, as you could able to see that when I try to compile, um, let me try to remove this, okay? So say for example, you have two paragraphs. The first paragraph is here and the second paragraph is in the next line, just because you have an enter key that is being pressed. So probably you might expect these two paragraphs to be separated out, but the default action of this uh, latex will not do so. So let me try to demonstrate what I'm trying to say just by clicking on this quick bit and hoping that you have the same settings that I had discussed before. And I also have to ensure that my main dot tech file, which you could navigate back just by clicking on this down arrow key, and you can just go back and make make sure that this main dot tech file has been selected, and ensure you define that document as the master document, and go back to this chapter one dot tech file, and then you can just click on this quick path. So when I compile from here, it knows that the master document is not this chapter one dot tech file, but rather it is the main dot tech file. So let me try to run this and hope that you have the same settings. I'll just confirm uh, again. So under this config, if I go for quick build, I have just enabled the first option. And as I said in the previous video, we'll be using the second option later on when we discuss about the bibliography. But as of now, uh, we will hold this as it is. And let me try to compile this. So, so our chapter title has appeared in one of the page and it also appears in the first page. And as you could able to see, even though there was an enter key that has been pressed, both these paragraphs have been merged. So you get able to see that uh, you are allowed to use the figures and diagrams and that line appears over here as you could, maybe I will just try to zoom in, yeah. So you can able to see that there is no paragraph break between these two uh, lines, okay? So the way to give the end of paragraph is by having this line break command, which is double slash. And when I recompile re this particular .tech file, yeah. So as you could able to see that right now, the paragraph has been moved to the next line. So this is one way. And uh, there is also one more way without using uh, either double slash or slash with par, one could use even an enter key. And then when you compile, ensure that there is one separate line between these two paragraphs. So that also being recognized as the separation of two different paragraphs here. So this is again, one of the line breaking command. Yeah, so with that said, let me try to copy all the contents that I'm showing here. So let me fast forward this particular thing, except for this figure. So the figure, I'll just come back and then talk about it later. And I might stop in order to talk about this particular settings. So I'll fast forward this. Yeah. 
So now in this case, we just needed uh, bullet points to be added. And uh, in order to have bullet points, there is a command uh, which is known as begin. There is an environment. It is not a command. So we have to use this uh, environment, which is begin itemize. Okay. Yeah. So once you enter this, there is some set of commands to create those bullet points. And uh, there's a shortcut key which you can use it, which is control shift I. So that will bring up this item command and just ensure that you have a space and copy the line that you want to have a bullet point. So ensure that you don't have, you're not copying the bullet point from the document that you are copying. Only the, the text is being copied here. So now that I've just copied all the contents and let me just try to run this quick build and see the effect of it. So our bullet points has appeared and uh, Hope that everything has been done except for the figure that has to be uh, added to the document.